Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you this strategy that works 100% of the time, and it is guaranteed, because I know most of you might be looking for the ultimate magical strategy. That's why I created this video, to show you this trading strategy that I've used for a very long time, and it is a bullish or a bearish trend continuation strategy. And it has almost 100% win rate, and this strategy is really good enough to make you a really good income. So you're going to want to try to stick till the end of the video so that you will better understand how this strategy works. Now, if you are interested in learning more about advanced concepts, strategies, entry reasons, and how to stay disciplined with a trading plan, please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to open your chart analysis tool, which is the tradingview.com, to read and analyze the price movement on the chart before you enter any trades. And after you have opened your trading view, just hop on anything that you're trading, whether it's stocks, futures, for X pairs, or cryptocurrency. But for the sake of this video, we are going to start with the for X pairs. Now, it is important to know that this strategy works on all time frame and the different asset classes that you might wish to trade. You can see that I'm currently on the price of New Zealand with the US dollar currency pair and on the 15 minute time frame. For this strategy, we are gonna use two indicators. Now, the first and the classic indicator is known as the Ripster EMA cloud indicator. Now, first you are gonna go ahead to this indicators tab over here and search for the Ripster EMA cloud indicator and click on this one that was developed by this guy known as the Ripster 47 to add the indicator to the chart. Now that you have added the indicator to the chart, let's go ahead and explain the mechanism of this indicator. Now, the Ripster cloud indicator is a powerful tool designed for traders that are seeking clarity in the financial markets because it helps traders in gaining a deeper understanding of market dynamics. The edges of the Ripster cloud indicator serves as dynamic support and resistance levels. The majority of the traders use these boundaries to identify strategic entry and exit points, thereby enhancing their risk management. The Ripster EMA cloud acts as a dynamic trend line for day traders because the clouds can be used as pullback levels, thereby presenting an entry and exit levels. Additionally, a high price level above or below the EMA clouds confirms either the bullish or the bearish bias on the price action for any time frame. Now, here on the chart, you can see that the Ripster EMA cloud consists of two layers, this green and the red cloud. And this second cloud here, the faded blue and brown color. The green cloud signals bullish momentum in the market, while the red cloud indicates bearish trends. Your understanding of these layers provides a quick visual cue for market sentiments and directions. The price breakout above the EMA cloud suggests a potential upward trend, while a breakout below the cloud indicates a potential trend reversal. This can be a powerful signal for traders looking to enter or exit positions. For example, here on the chart, you can see that the price was above the Ripster cloud indicator, and the Ripster indicator was acting as support levels at these two points and then the price later crossed below the Ripster cloud around here. When the price pulled back to the Ripster cloud indicator at this point, it presented a short trade entry opportunity. And then you will grab your short position tool and place a short trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at this high and extend your profit target down to this level, which is equivalent to a 6.3 risk to reward ratio. Now you can see that the Ripster cloud indicator provides us with a pretty valid trade entry signals. Here is another example. You can see that we are still trading on the price of the New Zealand dollar with the US dollar currency pairs. And on the same 15 minute time frame. Here you can see that the price was in a downtrend and the Ripster cloud indicator was also red, showing you that you have more sellers in the market than buyers. But when the price tried reversing from here, Notice that the Ripster cloud has changed to green, which shows that enough buyers has entered the market. And when the price crossed above the Ripster cloud indicator, then you will pick your long position tool and place a long trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at this low, just below the cloud, and extend your profit target to a 3.1 risk to reward ratio. And this was a valid long trading opportunity. 
now when the price crossed back below the Ripster cloud around here. The Ripster cloud indicator changed back to red, which signals more sellers coming back to the market, and you could have waited for the price to pull back to the Ripster cloud indicator using this candle. And then you will grab your short position tool and place a short trade at the close of this candle. And set your stop loss at this high, just above the red Ripster cloud indicator. And extend your profit target to a 3.8 risk to reward ratio. Now, given that this Ripster cloud indicator is highly good at predicting market trends, as well as projecting the market's future movement. Combining the indicator with another indicator that may provide us with accurate signals to spot great trade entries is always an intelligent approach. So in addition to this reasons, we're going to add another indicator that we may employ in conjunction with this Ripster EM, a cloud indicator, in order to get better signals for additional trade entry confirmation. Now, let's head on over to the chart to add the indicator to the chart. Now, here on the chart. You can see that we are open to the price of the Australian dollar with the US dollar currency pairs and on the same 15 minute time frame. Now, this second wonderful indicator is known as the Average Sentiment Oscillator. This Average Sentiment Oscillator is a popular indicator on the TradingView platform that many traders use to know when the balance of power between the bulls and bears is changing. It is an indicator that uses the market's sentiment to indicate whether the market is bullish or bearish. Now, to add the indicator to our chart, you are going to click on this indicators tab over here, and then you will search for average sentiment oscillator. You are going to click on this one, which is an editor's pick indicator, and it's written by this guy named Kevin Kazbiljic. Now that we have added the indicator to the chart, you can see that these red and blue lines are moving above and below the center line, which is 50. Just like what I said before, this indicator uses market sentiment to show whether the market trend is bullish or bearish. The blue line represents the bull's percent and the red line represents the bear's percent. When the blue line is above the red line, it indicates that the bulls or buyers are dominant in the market, while when the red line is above the blue line, it indicates that the bears or sellers are dominant in the market. The centerline crossover at the 50% mark shows the shift of power between the bulls and bears, providing trading opportunities. Now, you can see that this indicator looks very choppy and noisy. So let's go to the indicator's settings by clicking on this gear icon to filter out these noises. Now, here on the input section, you are going to change this period to 14 and this calculation method to 2. There is no significant setting here on the styles section, and then you will click OK. Now, here on the chart, you can see that the price was moving upwards around here, but the price later started reversing from here. Notice that the Ripster cloud has changed to red, indicating that you have more sellers in the market than buyers. And if you look at the average sentiment indicator, you can see that the red line has crossed above the sentry line and the blue line as well, which confirms the bearish bias that the Ripster cloud has presented earlier. And then you will pick your short position tool and place a short trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at this high. And extend your profit target down to this level, which is equivalent to a 5.3 risk to reward ratio. Here is another example. You can see that we are trading on the price of the Microsoft stock and on the one hour time frame. Here on the chart, you can see the price just recently moved downwards around here before starting to form this small price consolidation. But when the price started reversing, the Ripster cloud changed to green. And here on the average sentiment indicator, you can see that the blue line has crossed the red line and center line, which confirms your bias on the upward market direction. And then you will pick your long position tool and place a long trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at this low and extend your profit target up to this level, which is equivalent to a 4.7 risk to reward ratio. Now, if you are ready to join this my Telegram channel, just click the link below in the description and become a part of our growing community as I have prepared a ton of high quality contents coming up this year. And you're gonna wanna sign up to these crypto exchanges here to get all these bonuses. Now, if you are interested in learning more about advanced concepts, strategies, entry reasons, and how to stay disciplined with a trading plan. Please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.